Well, it is now time for what we think of, for, or what the people have really written in. It's been a huge write-in the campaign. people have spoken. The people have spoken. I know you haven't seen this lately. This is your first official <laughs> Under the Radar. It's one of the most amazing segments in all of morning television. Let's go under the radar right now. Let's start in Tokyo, where a one-woman cheerleading squad is cheering up commuters. Now, you can find Ayosato at a busy train station in central Tokyo almost every morning. I mean, look at her go. She used to work for an advertising agency and says, well, you know what? She's still traumatized by the stress, and she felt that she had oh, other skills that an advertising agency yeah. Just couldn't, you know, couldn't right. allow her to exhibit like this. Her days are, are very simple. She tries to put a smile on the face of stressed out businessmen and women. She says one guy told her he was going to quit his job but decided to stay after watching her dance, and that makes it all worth it. Now, in case you're wondering where she learned her moves, she said she taught herself cheerleading by watching YouTube videos. YouTube's awesome. a very helpful place. Yeah. Next to China you and the it. magic ice man. His icy talents have earned him fame across the country. Last week, the 53-year-old vowed tourists, or wowed rather, visiting an ice exhibit by standing in an ice-filled container for over 108 minutes. Mm, that's great. Apparently he's done better. China's official English language newspaper, The China Daily, said he won the Guinness World Record last month. How much do you guys want to guess he won for? Um, okay, 112 oh, minutes. Man, well, Word is, yeah, he's been very cold to his friends lately. There very you go. cold. But but a bump. Bump. <laughs> Among other things. All right. There's so many other avenues we could have gone there. And new creations from the artist known as the Pavement Picasso. English artist Julian Beaver is known for his 3D chalk drawings. He's been decorating sidewalks around the world since the early 90s. You've probably seen some of his work. I mean, who hasn't really? These photos are the latest examples of his mind-blowing work. Besides 3D art, he paints cool. murals and replicas of the masters that are out there. We will be right back. You're watching The Early Show here on CBS. A lot happens early on The Early Show. Weekday mornings on CBS.